This is Isha the Mad Scientist with the Air Gigs blog. Today I'm going to show you how to get a big drum sound from a small room. Budgets are getting smaller and it's becoming harder to book a million dollar studio to record drums. Thankfully, with some tricks I'm about to show you, you can still get a big bombastic drum sound while recording at home. Let's dive in. So, here's a post-rock tune called Spring's Flower I co-wrote with fellow Air Gigs member Katie Marie published by Black Toast Music. First, let's take a listen to a typical home studio drum sound, just kick, snare, and overheads. Katie did a great job of playing with that heavy, passionate feel, but there is still a lot we can do to make these drums sound bigger. Here is what the final drums sound like. That's that huge bombastic drum sound that I love. So, let's take a look at how we got there. I'm going to solo up these room mics. So before mixing, I asked Katie to add room mics to her recording. She gave me two options, one that was close to the drum kit. Let's take a listen to that one first. You can hear a nice even blend of the kick, snare, and the cymbals. If they are not blended how you want it, it's often a performance technique. You need to adjust if the drummer can play the kick and snare really hard, but the cymbals gently, that often sounds really good after mixing compressions. The second room mic is further away. Because she's recording in a small room, we pointed the mics towards the wall so that they would actually be picking up the reflection of the drum sound. Therefore, they sound further away because the sound wave is actually getting to the mic louder, and then it sounds like you're in a bigger room. Let's check that out. Now, let's mix them in with the drums and turn them on and off so you can hear the difference. To me, without those drum room mics, the drums just don't sound like they're in a real space. So it makes a very big difference. Let's take a look at how we mixed in these drum room mics to make it sound even bigger. First, we'll start with the close room mic, turn on our VMR, and we're doing a little Neve console emulation, cutting out a little bit of mud. Uh, one of the big secrets here is Monster. It's like an 1176 with all the buttons in, with a slow attack and very fast release. Let's listen to turning that on and off. It, it adds a lot of life, and you can hear it better if it's at 100% not mixed in at all. Let's check that out. Certain types of styles, you just want it all the way, but we're blending this one in, so it's not super intense. Let's check out the other room mic. This is our further away room mic. This is where we're really going to be getting our ambience from. So we're just doing some simple mud removal EQ and low end on the bottom. But then we're sending it here to our drum room simulator, which the first step is just rolling off a little bit of the low end. And then we're going to an impulse verb. In this case, this is TL space. And we're actually in a church. Let's listen with that on and off. So it's adding a lot of ambience, and we're bringing up that ambience even more by treating that ambience like a room mic again with Monster in here, um, compressing really hard and bringing up that ambience even more. I'll turn that on and off. And 
now it sounds like we're really rocking like a big drum set in a really big space just how we want it for that rock sound so now we have our general mixing on our close mics like our kick is a little gate and then just some standard eq and compression we'll go into more detail in another video about mixing drums in general the overheads are also the compression is bringing out a little more of the ambience let's listen to that real quick And in this case, that's coming from the distressor. So let's take a listen to our drum sound one more time with our room mics coming in and out. So Let's listen in the song one last time, and you can hear the finished product. Thanks for watching the Air Gigs vlog. I'll see you in the next video.